Hey, how's it going, everybody? This is Todd from Cooksville Co-op, and we want to welcome you back to our vlog. Um, today, we're going to be talking about the first t-shirt design that we ever did, which was Tasty Waves and a Cool Buzz. Um, before we jump into that, I just want to say I'm really sorry. My allergies are super gnarly today, so I'm sorry for all the sniffles and coughs or whatever. Um, yeah, super sorry. But let's just jump right into it. Um, so for anybody that doesn't know, the phrase Tasty Waves and a Cool Buzz comes from the 1982 movie Fast Times at Ridgemont High, which was written by Cameron Crowe. And um, he actually wrote it about his experiences going undercover into a high school um, in San Diego. And that was kind of an experiment just to see what was going on in the lives of like high school kids at the time. And those experiences turned into Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Um, if you haven't seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High, it is an amazing film. Uh, please check it out. Uh, I don't know if it's streaming on anything. I probably should have looked that up before I did the vlog. But uh, I'm sure you can find it somewhere. It's just an awesome film. Um, so a little history about how this design came to be. Um, I saw Fast Times at Ridgemont High, I think, when I was in high school. And... It seemed a lot different than like high school movies that were kind of coming out at the time because there was like American Pie and all these like other kind of doofy like high school movies and Fast Times at Ridgemont High again came out in like 1982 and it seemed way more realistic to me than anything that had been coming out during my time in high school. Um you know, the characters are super relatable and um, it's funny. It's just a really amazing film. Um, so that's kind of where the inspiration came from. And the biggest inspiration was a character in the film named Spicoli. And if you've seen Fast Times at Regiment High, you know about Spicoli. If you haven't, I will give you a little insight. Spicoli is kind of a carefree surfer stoner kind of dude um you know has no job he has no money all he wants to do is like do bong hits and go surfing and skateboarding and he's kind of like a um comic relief almost in the film to kind of lighten some of like the heavier stuff that goes on um but when you first watch the movie as a kid and you see Spicoli he's so cool like how do you not like Spicoli? And there, you know, there are other characters that if you're in high school, you can kind of relate to a lot of the characters in the film. But for me and like my friend Spicoli was like everything. He was just carefree. He, you know, he was just like super cool. And um, the scene where this comes from or this phrase is um, he's in a convenience store trying to buy something and he's got like a mondo amount of change. Like it's like ridiculous. And Brad Hamilton, who's another character in the movie, um, pretty much tells him like, you know, he needs to get a job. And Spicoli says, all I need are tasty waves and a cool buzz and I'm fine. And to me that encapsulates, you know, the happiest lifestyle ever. Like there's no worries. Like, that's all he cared about, and he was super stoked on life, and he's kind of not this worrisome character like some of the other characters in the movie or whatever. He's just kind of carefree. So um, I always looked up to that, and I love Spicoli, and then um, years later, I actually read an interview with uh, Keith Morris from Black Flag and Circle Jerks, where he was talking about how a lot of the, the kids that he knew growing up were Spicoli, like, they were exactly like Spicoli, and he was essentially saying, like, you know, the Spicoli character was a real character, that was, like, you know, a true persona of people that were growing up in, like, California or whatever, so, to me, I always kind of looked up to that, because I'm a, str I'm a giant stress ball, like, you know, I, I care about everything, um, and the fact that Spicoli was just so cool, and he just, like, didn't give a shit, like, it was just awesome to me. So, um, I always wanted to do kind of a Spicoli shirt, and I, you know, never really knew where to take it. 
And then um, I did this design and I did it pretty much for myself. I didn't really plan on doing anything. And this was way before the Cooksville thing even came into, you know, whatever. Um, so I did it and then I never made the shirt, but I posted the design online and then a bunch of people were asking me about it. Like, are you making these? Like, where did you find this? Excuse me. And um, I was like, yeah, I think I'm going to make these. Like, I, you know, I just did the design for myself. But I never actually did it. And then when Cooksville started, I was like, well, I already have this design. Like, maybe we should do that. And um, this is actually the second design that we printed. The first design was the um, Grateful Bowie thing, which I'll do another video about. But this is the first actual design that I made for um, what would end up being Cooksville. Um so why is this design so important to me or us? Um, first of all, it's the first design that we did. So this will always have like a gnarly place in my heart. But second off, Fast Times at Ridgemont High is a great movie. I keep like reiterating this, but it really is a fantastic, amazing movie that every I think every high school kid should see. And a lot of people might not agree because there's some like super heavy subject matter, but High school kids deal with this stuff all the time, you know, like there, there's going to be gnarly things that, that people, um, fall into circumstance wise. And to me, it's the most real high school film. I think that was like ever made. Um, and Spicoli kind of stands out as like a character for people that are kind of like, carefree and I know like a lot of older people like look at kids in high school that are kind of just like fuck this like whatever but you know it's kind of uh I I don't know I think Spicoli is a good person for for people to kind of look up to because he really doesn't have a care in the world he's not a stress ball he's not like you know overly concerned about things he's kind of carefree and I think people should be kind of carefree these days um, you know, we're getting in times when things are like so stressful for people and, you know, everybody's like freaking out, but, um, you know, I think some people need, it's kind of like a little vacation thing almost like, you know, give yourself a break from things and, you know, have fun for a little while. So that's why I wanted to make the t-shirt. Um, as for the design, and I mentioned this in the first vlog, but as for the design, when I was growing up, um, my parents, we never really flew anywhere for, actually, we never flew anywhere for vacation. Anytime we went anywhere, we drove. And my dad would always stop at these like gnarly, uh, or what they call tourist traps now, and um, little gift shops and stuff like that. And if you went in there, the shirts were these like plain, basic very simple designs that would say like, uh, like for instance, we went to like Key West and the shirt would say like Key West with like uh, a palm tree or something. And the shirt would be like $2. Like they were these cheap, you know, kind of tourist shirts. And that's kind of the vibe I wanted to go with for this design because Spicoli is so carefree and um, it kind of represents to me like a carefree state of mind and I, I don't know. I always like that. So um, not only this shirt, but a lot of sh the shirts that we do kind of come from that uh, tourist trap, cheap, um, simple design that kind of makes a statement. You know what I mean? Like the shirts themselves were kind of cheap, but the designs were cool and they were made so you could go home and be like, oh, look, I went to Cocoa Beach or I went to Key West or I went to... Myrtle Beach or whatever. And um, I don't know. They were really, that was like really cool to me. That was part of growing up. So with this design, especially, I wanted to keep it simple. I didn't want to go like overboard with like anything. And um, yeah, I mean, that's essentially it. That's where like the t-shirt was born. Um, and, you know, some other things about like the movie and the shirt that kind of coincide. A lot of people that know, uh, me and my wife, Becky, who's the other co-owner of Cooksville Co-op, were really into music. And the soundtrack of 
Fast Times at Ridgemont High is actually really good. Um, Jackson Brown, uh, Tom, um, Tom Petty, um, and the biggest one, and I don't think a lot of people really realize this, but I think it rolls over the final credits of the movie. Um, there's a song called I Don't Know Spicoli's Theme, and that was Jimmy Buffett that did that song, and he wrote that song specifically as Spicoli's Theme for Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And anybody that knows me, and I'm sure I've gotten into discussions with you about why uh, I love Jimmy Buffett, but I do love Jimmy Buffett. Um, that was like a kind of weird gap between my dad, who was super into Jimmy Buffett, and me, because at the time, I was gnarly into punk rock. And I always heard Jimmy Buffett growing up from, like, my parents or whatever. But I, I kind of just shrugged it off. And I was like, ah, this is, like, my my parents' music, whatever. And then after watching Fast Times at Ridgemont High and hearing that Buffett song that was specifically Spicoli's theme, I was like, oh, man, maybe, like, Buffett is kind of cool. Like, maybe I should get past Cheeseburger in Paradise and listen to more music. And I did. And I actually really loved Buffett. So that was kind of a weird gap um, or a weird connection, to, you know, from something that I'm super into to something that my parents are super into that I became super into too. If that makes sense, that's like a weird transition there. But um, yeah, that's the history of, um, you know, our first shirt, Tasty Waves and a Cool Buzz. And again, if you haven't seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High, please, please check it out. It's an awesome movie. And uh, if you want one of these, you can get one at www.cooksvillecoop.com. And um, yeah, watch the movie and pick one of these up. And um, I think that's just about it for this vlog. Uh, I try to keep it simple. I don't want to make it super long. But I hope you guys are doing well, and uh, we'll see you the next time. All right, love you guys, and thank you for watching. See ya.